Howdy y'all, I am Ice Gold, and today I wanted to talk about another issue that Ice has, and this is mostly just a quality of life type of thing, and the reason why I am in this random spot in the Crimson Fields is because this is part of the Ice Blade spell quest at level 38. 38! How about that? Lately, I have started another playthrough on a different account, my budget walkthrough account actually, with a couple friends of mine, and one of them is playing Ice, and I, we, we don't get through a single session without him asking me at least once, like, when am I getting Ice Blade? <laughs> and I had to keep telling him, you know, it's level 38, and he says that's insane, why would anybody do that? Why would anybody put the Blade Quest at level 38, like, it's a single blade? How, like, why does it need to wait this long when there's already so much useless stuff before it? And he's right. There is a lot of useless stuff before it. So, let's have a look at all of the spells that Ice gets from spell quests before level 38. Ice Trap comes from level 7. Ice Prism comes from level 12. Freeze comes from the Ravenwood, I guess, initiation type deal. Steel Ward comes from, I think, somewhere in Croc. Uh, what else we got? Uh, this is the big offender, but we'll come back to it. Um, Legion Shield at level 35 comes three levels before. You get this from the uh, level 35 spell quest in Grizzleheim after you get to Miracom Keep. So that's another thing. And then Ice Guardian comes at level 28. Also, you know, not very useful in PvE and it's banned to PvP, so go figure. But let's look back at Ice Armor. This, you get Ice Armor at level 18. And. Just for reference, the other schools, every single other school gets their blade before level 20, <laughs> just so we are clear. And in my honest opinion, Ice Armor doesn't need to be in the game when Frozen Armor exists. This is a joke of a spell. <laughs> it's like, Absorbs, I've always thought, were kind of an interesting mechanic. Uh, I mean, don't worry about the fact that Death Strains could just, you know, go right through them, but <laughs> this, the, the mechanic is... Neat, but when it comes when it comes to ice armor here, you got this at level 18. It's an expert spell, but it's not very useful at the level you get it at. Um, and you know, you look at this side by side the frozen armor, and you're wondering like, okay, well, why would anybody ever use ice armor if they have frozen armor? <laughs> it's like it's like you do get frozen armor at 55, but you're not using either of these ever in, <laughs> in PVA, and. It's like you could maybe make a case for Ice Armor if the values were swapped. It's like Frozen Armor was 125 per pit while Ice Armor is 175 because it is self only, but that is not the case. And this is the spell that I think should either swap places with the current Ice Blade value at level 38, or Ice Armor should just go entirely and they can find a new spell to give Ice at level 38 while also switching Ice Blade over to level 18. And if uh, if my memory serves, okay, so Fire gets their blade at like uh, the Ravenwood Initiation Quest, Death gets their blade at level seven. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Storm, I think is level 12. Myth is also somewhere like level 12, level 18, maybe in there. And then I think Life comes from a Croc Quest and then Balance is level 12. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's like life is the next closest to ice. And I actually just fact-checked in Mythblade, it becomes available at level 12. So how about that? So why do every single school, other than ice, get their blade way before ice can ever even get their hands on theirs? And the reason is, I don't know, that was a design choice made back in, you know, 2006, 7, 8, that type of deal. But there's no reason, in my opinion, that it can't be remedied today. And it would make the new player experience far better in in terms of just how the game flows it's like ice already <laughs> struggles with doing damage like they're supposed to right but to a point where it's too slow and the devs realized this back in the spring they realized this back in march and that is why frost giant actually got buffed my efforts did prove successful because they finally buffed it after 15 years <laughs> and this spell it used to do 460 with the stun, but now it does 570 base uh, with the Spellment Path. 
and they made this change and kept the stun because they were, they were torn for a while on whether they wanted to get rid of it or if they wanted to just increase the damage, and they made up a bunch of stuff about, oh, well, little Timmy and Bobby doing their double ice playthrough might want to keep the stun on Frost Giant, which, make it that what you will, uh, <laughs> but the point is, they buffed the damage on Frost Giant because they wanted new players to not go, you know, infinitely slower <laughs> than all the other schools. Like, Ice was the definitive worst school in the game prior to this buff, and it's very easy to see why. 460 with a useless stun. Right, like, <laughs> yeah. So, if they can change Frost Giant after, I don't know how many years of lobbying the community has done over these over this past like decade and a half but if they can do that they can make ice blade available at level 18 and they can make ice armor available at level 38 i think that is not too much to ask for I, like i really don't think that is too much to ask for um and they could even make ice armor better and frozen armor like honestly they can leave frozen armor alone you can use this on anybody that's 175 per pip but if ice armor were to go up to like 200 absorb per pip um just like on yourself People might consider it just because it would actually be useful <laughs> in, in some form or fashion and you get a level 38 when you're starting to get more power pips and it would be more useful then compared to 18. So that honestly kind of is my piece. Uh, <laughs> I know that it's like I'm really not even asking for much. I'm asking to swap the two around <laughs> and Ice would still get their blade last out of everybody. I'm pretty sure back to balance you usually get that. Uh, and this is for life. Uh, you usually finish the Crocus Sphinx at around 16, 17, some type of deal. So Ice would still get their blade last if that is why <laughs> if this is why it was limited to level 38. But I do think that this swapping with Ice Armor is the way to go. And that's honestly just kind of my piece. <laughs> I, I do think that it's like Ice Blade is critical for every new ice wizard <clears throat> and it's like my friend's ice character that i was talking to you about it's like his only purpose is to elemental blade my fire and faint occasionally when our other teammate doesn't pull one so yeah <laughs> and it's like he wants to be useful he wants to be able to do his own thing and a change like this would make it so so much easier for him to do that he would actually have to bust a stack <laughs> with elemental blade and I just think that would be a good thing to have happen. <laughs> just, you know, finally remedying this issue where Ice Blade, you don't get it for way, 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 way too long. Uh, whereas you get all of these other useless spells in the meantime. <laughs> so that's just my piece on that. And if they have to change the quest around, I do know that Ice Blade has you come in here to Mushu, which is why I'm, you know, running around. There's like an inch pig over here that spawns. Uh, but it wouldn't be too hard to just, like, get the voice lines back. Oh, I wouldn't trust. But it wouldn't be too hard to just swap the voice lines around for whenever Lady of Grey Rose would say Ice Blade. Uh, she would say Ice Armor for the level 38 quest to come here and vice versa. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's just my take. <laughs> that is my full, complete take. This is not asking for nearly as much as I was when I was lobbying for Frost Giant to get buffed. So, I feel like this is a common sense change. I mean, the buff on Frost Giant was also a common sense change, and it took them 15 years. But <laughs> this, I think, will be much easier to convince them of. Uh, so, I think, I think it would just be good if us in the community, us Ice Mains, were to bring this to the devs attention and tell them like yo you know thanks for buffing frost giant but if you really 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 want to make the new player experience better and you don't want all of these ice mains to quit in marley bone and mushu because the game is slow and stale switch around ice blade and ice armor so that is not too much to ask thank y'all for watching i have been ice gold be sure to like subscribe and leave the 50 comments for the algorithm my discord is down in the description if you want to chat with me some more and i will see y'all later